Hello there! I hope there will be one day when Bethesda finally put all meta damage perks related to pistols under perception. Right now they are under agility and it just doesn't make any sense. I understand that pipe revolvers can use meta perks from pistols and rifles at the same time and be more powerful, but what about other revolvers? I will make myself more clear in the video and explain how you can be more efficient with these noisy guys. Playing with revolvers is all about trying something new in the game, though I don't recommend to make a new character just for them, rather to adapt your commander build. So revolvers, let's get started. Before I show you my heroes, let me reload this one. I will reveal the perk loadout later and leave a link of the full build in the first comment. Finally, I'm all set. Here is quad capacity explosive single action revolver to compare with blooded western one with what's related effects. Let's see how they work. First, I'll show some love to this mini hawk and his best friend. Two headshots for him and his friend is trying to escape. Let's hunt him down. Headshots are not that easy, but anyway pretty doable, just need some practice. But actually I missed a lot. Just like this. Now bloodied one. Few seconds ago I died because of a sneaky hound. If you're in danger you have to spread more bullets and it is way more difficult to hang headshots. You will never be good against few enemies, try to kill one by one, what's will better your chances, but not that much. Hide, jump, shoot, repeat. At close distance is easy, and reloading time is way better than with single action, so I will use it until the moment where I actually need more ammo capacity. Damage wise this one is better, but anyway you need two headshots to kill a mini hulk. Blood Eagles. This gun is supposed to work well with bats and kinda the best option for bolstering armor users, where you don't have additional 15 points of perception and agility, but we will see about that just in a moment. Here I was doing well until I get my heart in danger. When they move around and shoot at you, it is almost a mission impossible. Let's check how we can do it with bats. Here I have 10 additional points for perception instead of 15 and look at the probabilities I have. Now I boost my perception to the top with food and take some toxic goo to have my unyielding armor working at its max potential. Use good soup or whatever you like most for perception, boost your stats at least for boss fights, but always. What's the difference? If the part of enemy's body you are aiming at is hidden, you will see less probability, but anyway sometimes you can hit it, even through a door or wall. It just works like this. To fight animals you need to avoid the damage and comb as best as possible. Our fire rate sucks, our damage per hit could be better and we have a very low ammo capacity. But life on the wild west has never been easy. But Bethesda could help us a little bit by moving all meta perks under perception of strength. If role playing is a part of the game, why we should be humiliated like this? With adrenaline I can do more damage, with evasive I can tank more damage and so on. Ok, Big Papa Hawk. If you hit his head constantly, he will lose his perception and you can be more stealthy, even if you not spec so much on sneak, but only if no one else is around. I wish we could have more of them in Appalachia, there is only one location where he spawns constantly. And it is here. Keep a distance, because he will attack anyway, no matter if he can see you or not. At least this mechanic is implemented so well when they are solo. A 
And for the last part I will fight some ghouls and finally explain the best tactic to play with noisy revolvers. Whoever stayed until here will have the whole knowledge. The explosive one is back because I need more bullets. So, if you hit an enemy and there is nowhere to run, they will chase you until you or the last one of them is dead. I run with a very boosted agility, but anyway they can see me when I enter in a sneak mode, even if there is no visual contact. But there is a way to escape your sad fate. It works pretty much with every gun and your success mainly depends on agility. So when the last one is dead, let me show you what to do. Normally when you exit and enter in a sneak mode, you can be still in danger. As you see, I have everything equipped to be more sneaky, except for the most important perk card. So let me unequip this one and equip this guy. Now I will make another card, but only 2 star. So I sacrifice a little bit of damage by sneaking, but I will have the most important card. Let's try now. So we pick our victim. One, two. Looking for another one. Where you are? Okay, here it is. I kill this one. And two. These two will chase me. And how the magic works. You need to exit and enter the stick mode and they will lose you. That's all. Now you can kill them. This time I want to thank my subscribers. It means a lot to me if you find my content enjoyable. It's not that easy to make it, but I try my best. 